Welcome to the Kern Literacy Council in Bakersfield, California. I am Ian Anderson, the new executive director, and I'm going to take you on a tour. Come on in. Here at the Kern Literacy Council, our goal is to provide access to literacy education with low to no barrier services. Thank you to our generous donors for providing this beautiful exterior update to our painting. So when our clients come in, they see this beautiful new facility awaiting them to be able to help them with on their literacy journey. Of course, on that literacy journey, they will be met by a friendly team of employees and volunteer tutors and staff that will continue to help them on their literacy journey as they come into the literacy Hello, council. Hello, come on in. <laughs> One of the generous gifts that was provided to us was the upgrading of our office equipment and office furniture. Previously, we did not have the capability of a full reception area or desk, individuals that maybe had were wheelchair accessible. Now we're able to meet our clients' needs in a very professional manner. Additionally, we've been able to increase the ability for my office team to be able to be more organized, to have more uh, secured space, to be able to really meet the needs of the growing illiterate population in Kern County. And so it is gratefully needed and, and a great benefit to us that we're able to upgrade our facilities and that our clients are met with a friendly, professional, clean-looking facility that will continue to help them advance in their educational journey. Next, we're going to go take a look at our computer lab that was recently renovated by a generous gift from one of our donors. This is our conference room. We utilize this for our board meetings, staff meetings, but also we utilize this for education as well. Our citizenship, English as a second language, we run nutrition education classes in here. So we really do utilize all of the space available to us. One of the exciting upgrades that we had recently was to our computer lab. And again, thank you to a generous donation. We were able to upgrade and add uh, stations uh, uh, next, of course, we're going to need to add more computer stations as we continue to expand our online and virtual training. But as you can see, we are at the uh, capacity to add a lot more and capitalize on the opportunity provided by virtual, online, and hybrid learning. So we're really excited about the future of what we can do with this uh, hybrid and online learning. All right, so on this side of the building, you come down this hall and you will see that we have a couple offices. One on this side is for our program coordinator who oversees most of our programs and tutoring services. This room here is a room we lovingly dubbed the interrogation room uh, <laughs> that we use for tutoring services. However, some of the long-term goals for this room include possibly turning this into a studio where we're able to live, scre live stream uh, different programs, possibly painting the wall green in the back so we can do uh, some green screen, some classes, um, trying to utilize this in addition to just the tutoring room, we'd like to be able to do some larger classes and reaching out to the various communities, um, utilizing live stream through programs like Twitch and other capacities. Because again, we're trying to utilize all aspects of our building and all technologies to reach our students. Next, I'm gonna take you down the hall to uh, see our learning center. All right, so the back of the building uh, holds our large learning center room. So in this room, what we use this for is a multitude of activities. Uh, we also use this for sorting our various donations. Um, this large space allows us the ability to have group classes, uh, books and coffee, but 
some of the future goals with this is that we would like to be able to expand these cubicles to have computer technology for tutoring services, uh, for our students to be able to sit down and work one-on-one uh, -on -one if they want. We also have a significant inventory of books, as you can see, we're, uh, with some additional generous donations from other donors who've come in and helped us uh, be more, a little bit more organized with our inventory. Of course, some of the favorite sections so is our uh, our library here where individuals are able to come and take books as they would like. So we have a lot of uh, capacity to create some really fun programs and opportunities here. However, we will definitely need to upgrade with technology, smart boards, projectors, uh, possibly laptops for uh, group activities, things like that. But our future is very bright with the space that we have and the support that we have from the community. Um, and we're able to really address the needs uh, of the residents of Kern County. The last place that we're going to visit on our tour is our learning library. So as always, we try to provide our tutors with all of the supplies that they would need to support our students. That means that we provide them with GED books, we provide different levels of readers um, to make sure that the students have exactly what they need. It's important that we continue to upgrade uh, our tutoring services, our assessment services. We are constantly looking at the best practices practices. So when we think about the future of the Literacy Council, our goal is to expand our services throughout all of Kern County, providing as much tutoring, career soft skills, English language learning, citizenship, GED, high school completion. Uh, the goal ultimately is for the Kern Literacy Council to serve anyone for ages 0 to 99, um, helping them with their literacy skills. We